Despite the rise of the EV in the last decade, there were many more electric vehicle manufacturers in the world 100 years ago than there are today. Hundreds of manufacturers competed in the fledgling and still disorganized automotive marketplace, which was dominated initially by the electric vehicle. The Never Contented was the first road vehicle to go over 100 km per hour. It was a Belgian electric vehicle with a light alloy torpedo shaped bodywork and batteries. Though the first land speed record was unknowingly begun by a French magazine with a contest it held in December 1898, it was to be this intense competition between manufacturers for this record that captured the imagination of the public and quickly saw top speed skyrocket. Setting a speed record was an obvious way to get publicity for a brand and prove its capability in a world still coming to grips with the concepts of advertising and promotion. And it was the rivalry between Belgian EV manufacturer Camille Genetzi and the French Jean Todd EV company which progressed the first record of 63.1 km per hour set in December 1898 by Jean Ted to 105.9 km per hour set in April 1899 by Genetzi. Considering that this time frame of just four months contained six different record setting runs shared three each between the two rivals, it was certainly an intense beginning for the land speed record, and an indication of the passion with which people had for car racing. As an interesting aside, the Jean Todd used what is generally regarded as the first steering wheel in history. It was a wheel with a handle on top for easy winding of the steering, and the face of the steering wheel was horizontal, but it was the first recognizable steering wheel. Genetzi arrived at the duel with a what is listed as a CGA dog cart. Little information is available on the car other than that it was powered by 180 cell Fullman lead acid battery and that it established a new record of 66.7 km per hour with Genetzi's run. The battle was now all consuming for both Chassel Applaubit and Genetzi, and on March 4, 1899, Six weeks after Genetzi's new record, the electric count rolled up with a new car which included the addition of some rudimentary streamlining, and took the record back with a run of 92.7 km per hour. In the wings however, Genetzi had also been working on a new car, a torpedo-shaped electric vehicle with many parts made of pertinium, a strong, lightweight and expensive alloy made of aluminum, copper, zinc, silicon and iron which had not been previously used in a car. The appropriately named Jamais Contente, never satisfied, was the first purpose-built speed record car and had two direct-drive Postal Vinay 25 kW motors, running at 200 V, and drawing 124 amps for approximately 68 horsepower. The new record would be broken in 1902 by Leon Serpollet's steam car with a speed of 120.8 km per hour, and subsequently the first internal combustion engine vehicle to take the record, the William K. Vanderbilt-driven Moore's Z Paris VN, which recorded 120.83 km per hour also in 1902. Internal combustion engines held all the speed records for half a century after this. The last internal combustion engine to hold the outright land speed record was John Cobb's Railton Mobile Special in 1947 when Cobb ran 634.39 km per hour, before the turbojet, rocket and turbofan machines pushed the record through the 400 mph, 1963, 500 mph, 1964, 600 mph, 1965 and finally the 700 miles per hour mark in 1997. Andy Green's Thrust SSC still holds the record set in 1997.